จับTime, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody on to the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people. I'm gonna make him work for it this time.
Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. She also discovered that the Turian distress signal originated from the collectors. There's no way you thought it was real. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it. But we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Klendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. 
The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Samara wants a moment with you, Commander.
I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. I remember hearing her called an R. Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an R. Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morinth suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault. And my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much. And then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Commander, you might want to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something.
Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. I know this is important to you, Tally, but stopping the Collectors has to come first. I understand. We're probably not coming back from this mission anyway, right? I'll program the Normandy with the Flotilla's current location, just in case you change it. In case we have time. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the Migrant Fleet's location. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the Migrant Fleet's location. Can you give me a rundown of the problem? The Admiral? I'm scared, Shepard. What happens when a quarry... My f the punishment for treason is exile. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus.
Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away.
Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Oh, the door. What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her.
Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? Find someone else to do your dirty work. Of course. You're not the type to be interested in work that could change the face of a place like Omega. I'm sorry I bothered you. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the it's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages and I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. ago and no one seems to care the medic said it was a brain hemorrhage but that's not true it was murder someone killed my nephew, my baby i think she was murdered too and i'm looking for her killer oh thank you it's so hard when no one believes you i'm all alone now are you one of aria's people i'm here to help does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry. I just miss her so much. 
It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and... I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me, with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. Then she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. So what's our next step? Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Hm. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me. But she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. The on the human of End. Has a swift End is not.
officials that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. relationships, you never have to compromise your vision of what your love should be. The Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. People come to places such as this, seeking a better yeah. life. And when they get here, they find it Vibrant people forced into destitution on a world filled with criminals. They deserve protection. If I survive your mission, I may return here. I'll take it. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What do you want? What's behind this door? The VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? 
Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morant will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Get tickets for Expel 10. I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna. I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. Come on, baby. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I... Don't be like that. I got credits. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Lots of money on display here tonight. Oh, we gotta hit some of that. No thanks. Oh. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. Guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. The standards must be low. You're here. It's pathetic when humans try to talk big. Bartender, give me another drink. You're scary. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? 
You and I want the same things. Do we? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? There are certain pieces that grab me. What really moves you? If I saw an image of you, that would move me. Oh, that's, um, sweet of you to say. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. What do you think of the ones with a lot of action? Watching spaceships explode? No thanks. It's death on a grand scale. Violence magnified. Stunning. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon, maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that, you know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. If you're the strongest.